Okay, today we're going to talk about battery drainage, a little bit of tunnel vision, small engine charging systems, and things like that. I'm just basically throwing this video together in a hurry. I didn't realize this was a video opportunity, uh, but it is actually, because I want to talk about a couple of different things that have happened to me over the years, and a little bit of tunnel vision. What I have here is an, an old Harley in mid-1970s, and I've had it for a lot of years. And it developed a problem about a year or so ago where it killed the battery. Now, every month or so I put the battery on a battery tender, and I charge it all the way up and make sure it's fully charged. Well, batteries last me about three to five years that way because I take pretty good care of them. But the first battery went bad about a year ago. It just went stone dead. So I put a new battery in it, thinking the battery was the fault, checked the system for parasitic loads. There were no parasitic loads at that time. And uh, basically charged up the battery and left it be. Didn't use it for a couple months. Well, went to use it and the battery was dead. It's a brand new battery. Well, there's got to be something going on here. Uh, checked it for parasitic loads again. No parasitic loads. So, must be the battery. So, replace the battery a second time. Well, what do you know? That battery went dead after a week. So, to put a third battery in. This time, I hooked up the negative terminal, touched it, and there was a tiny, tiny spark. It says, well, something, there's a small parasitic load on this, on this battery. So I didn't hook up the battery for a while. I left it disconnected. A month later, I went to use the bike, and I went to hook up the battery, and there was a huge spark. And this is before the key was even in, even in the ignition. So. I said, there's something really wrong. There's a, there's a major problem here. This is the voltage regulator. This is a solid state voltage regulator. It uses a transistor, not like the old relay type that are on most of these older bikes have the relay type, but these can do it too. I remember a few years back running into a, a backup whole house generator that was killing its starter batteries. And what had happened was this unit was about 20 years old, and the voltage regulator on these small engines is often continuously connected to one side of the 12 volt battery. In this case, it's through the red lead. And somehow, when these regulators become old, and I mean they have to be 20 years old for this to happen, it starts to drain the battery back through the regulator. So, knowing that, I put my hand on the voltage regulator and of course it was hot after having the battery only connected for 20 seconds. So bad voltage regulator. So this is something that I want to get through to all you guys is unlike an automotive charging system, a lot of times small engine designers will put power direct, put a wire directly to this voltage regulator from the battery and not go through the ignition switch. And if that's the case and your voltage regulator gets old, you could have a load through the voltage regulator and it may come and go. It may be what there one second and gone the next. So if you have a battery going dead on your small generator with a battery starting system or motorcycle or whatever, think about the voltage regulator. 